uh, I looked uh, into the biology of the fish, you know, and um, compared, you know, the scientific explanation, you know, uh, with with uh, with this uh, with this story, um, and that that is something uh, can be about this because uh, the fish, when they are young, you know, they 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 listen. They they've got the same hearing system as as the humans. So they don't, and, and fish don't drift, you know, so that's not like that they are stupid, they just, you know, s swim in the water, you know, and here we are, you know. Um, they are actually looking for a habitat where they spend their life. So, so they listen to the sound of a reef, because reef is always the best source of, of food. So they go, you know, they, and, and reef always has got uh, sounds, you know, crabs fighting, rocks moving, uh, the, the waves, whatever. So. The small fish goes there, you know, and whenever you've got a small fish, you know, there's always a bigger fish. And as the, as the chain, you know, it's followed by a bigger predator. So, and what you see from, from, uh, from uh, the land is just only that, you know, that fin from the water. You don't see underwater. So probably these people actually saw, you know, the fins coming towards the shore and then, you know, uh, brought the fish, which was attracted by the light and the sound. So don't, don't forget that sound attracts the fish. So, so they were coming towards the beach. Then they jump in the water and, you know, uh, beat them uh, and I'll collect it. So, uh, interestingly enough, uh, singing to the sharks still exists in, in Tonga and Samoa. So the natives of these islands actually still, still do this. And they sing to the, sh to the sharks as well. So it's, it's, it's not, you know, like something which was invented, you know, by some people here, but it does exist. But it's, uh, as far as I know, um, well, I, I haven't seen any other example apart from Viola. So, so it makes this absolutely unique, as you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's similar. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, any more questions or any comments? If you want to make any comments, please, you are welcome. Yes, Brenton. Uh, yeah, I've lived in Wyoming all my life, and my parents' family have been here for a very long time. The stories they tell are blackfish shaped from the, this time of the year, cuttlefish come up to breed, in school to snapper, followed to cuttlefish, and the blackfish then followed to snapper. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. These fish communicate and work together as a team. Mm, mm, yeah. And obviously, native people will take advantage of the staff and the horse and the dog. Yeah, that, that's right. And then there's no evidence of fish tracking for. Yes, there, there's one fish at um, uh, Fitzgerald Bay, um, a stonefish, um, preserved. But uh, I don't want to reveal where it is. So if you go there, you may find it. But it's like yeah, I intentionally didn't put you know the names to those sites, you know where they are. So so you know approximately where they are. But mm. I can just say that uh, at one mythical point uh, for initiation of of young men was at Black Point, and also Black Point was used for spearing you know uh, snapper and kingfish because kingfish is obviously native to the Gulf. So. Yeah, so they were on the rocks and spearing the yeah, fin fish from there. So. And the whole fish was there then? Oh, yes, 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 all the time, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no reason for them not to be, so. I believe the other interesting thing, you know, I, I mentioned is to, to realize that um, we have got, you know, this um, tidal movement, so uh, north, south, and otherwise. But here, because of this, you know, former valley, it goes sideways. So, um, and you can feel it, you know, it's like if you go diving or you are just underwater in a, in a, in a deeper depth, you know, so it just, you know, carries, you know, like, like this. Not just directly south, uh, but this goes like this. And, and Brenton has got experience. He found items, you know, from Bolaru here in a false bay. So, so, um, so something which you throw here, which finish in Port Piri, it's not going to Port Lincoln, it goes here, and from Port Piri it will go back to us, so eventually. 
BHP knows about that. They, I, I saw the, the actual, uh, you know, actual um, computer uh, program, so they are well aware of that. Uh, as far as I know, they don't. So, yeah, it, it's it's very difficult because um, after even after that, you know, so they they basically lost their identity. It's like you know. Mm -hmm. So, unless there are any questions, I would like to thank you for coming to the lecture, and I hope you enjoyed. So, thank you. Thank you.